Hello and welcome to the Evangelical Eddie channel. So, yesterday my team, the Browns, got beat up badly by the Houston Texans. But you know, I suppose if they had to lose to somebody, I'm glad they lost to C.J. Stroud. What a stand-up guy he is. And look at what he did and the way he gave glory to God before the game. And then we'll also look at his words after the game. Jay, welcome to the playoffs. How does that sound to you? Man, it's a blessing. I can't do nothing but just thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, man. I'm sorry. I put a lot of work in. My team that has everybody counting us out from the, from the start. So, man, it's just special to see the city of Houston just on the come up again. And um, I'm just blessed enough to be the vessel that, that Christ picked to, to lead this great franchise. So I can do nothing but just thank the Lord. I'm just curious, we could see you writing something on your wristband as you came out of the tunnel, tunnel to start the game. What, what was it? Yes, ma'am, I put a, a lot of stuff, but I put a cross, um, triple sevens, and then to the glory of God. Um, and then I put Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which is my favorite scripture. It's a blessing, man. I can, like I always do, man, and more than ever, just thank God. Thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, man. I, um, it's been a blessing. It's been a, a heck of a year. I thank God I can just go another week with my teammates. So. so this topic often comes up this time of year as we get close to the Super Bowl and you start seeing players give glory to God. Does God really care about football or even sports in general? That's really a question many of us grapple with when we hear these players. But here's what I do see God does care about, and it's not football. We can see over and over again in Scripture that God cares deeply about how we do things. What we do as far as our jobs, our interests, seem to have much less importance than how we do it. What do I mean? Well, you're probably familiar with this verse in Colossians, where Paul says, Work willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the Lord rather than people. God puts us all in different places. Some of us get to do incredible things and play college sports or even professional sports. Some people, they get to own a restaurant or they go to work at fast food restaurants. Some people get to scrub toilets, pick up trash. They get to deliver packages. Whatever the case, we're called to work at it as if it's for the Lord. That means we give our best effort. We have our best attitude, we're grateful. The fact that we have the ability to make money, to have a platform to share Jesus' name. This means God may not care about the game football, but he cares about how you play football. He cares how you do your homework, how you pick up trash, how you teach that lesson. He cares how you flip that burger. See, God seems to be much more interested with our heart and where it's at than what trophies, awards, or accomplishments are sitting on our shelf. So let's be people that work hard, that work hard at everything we do, as if we're doing it for the Lord. And thanks to C.J. Stroud for showing an example of how to do that.